guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Jessie. And for today, I will be reviewing. Uh, hindi siya first impression review ah, kasi nagamit ko na talaga siya. Gusto ko sana siyang gawing first impression review and then habang ina-apply ko siya sa face ko. <laughs> Actually, sa eyebrows. Kaso, wala lang. Wala <laughs> Wala lang. Hindi, wala kasi akong time. Wala akong moment na makapag-video. Maingay kasi madalas ako. So, ayun. I'm not sure if you are familiar with the product, pero this is the Jan Lauren Dip and Glide Eyebrow Pongay. Para siyang, um, this is an organic thing daw. Um, also, all the way from Davao. Ayan. So, eyebrow pomade siya. Para siyang yung mga usong Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pomade. Ganap, ganon. Ganon, di ba? So, kaso, eto, mas mura siya syempre. Kasi, from the Philippines, made in the Philippines, and um, organic. Well, not really that mura, pero... Guys, mas mura naman di hama kaysa kay Anastasia Beverly Hills, di ba? Mal-mal yun, nasa mga 1,005 plus something-something yun. Ito, nag-range lang siya ng, I'm not sure ha, parang 160 to almost 200. Well, it, it depends on the seller kasi. Ayun, ayun. So, I got the shade brown. However, this is gonna be different because I'm gonna compare it with something. Because before I ordered this, wala siyang brown. Because mabilis mo ubus yung brown. Um, meron lang siya is black. Although kasi syempre, hindi naman bagay sa akin ang black na black na hair. I mean, black yung eyebrows ko. Kasi yung hair ko, very light siya. Ang pangating tingnan. I made my own brow pomade. Although kasi yung mga DIYs, they say to use a hair pomade. Hindi wala naman. Hair gel ang meron ako. Yun lang ginan. And then, a few um, matte eyeshadows and eyebrow powders na hindi ko na naman na ginagamit. Actually, hindi naman sa expired na sila or anything. It's just that I've replaced them with a newer one kaya hindi ko na nagagamit yung mga yun. And I also use a little bit of aloe vera gel if I'm not mistaken. And some concealers and eyebrow gels na rin actually. Yung mura lang, hindi yung mamahaling eyebrow gel ha. The one I got from 2, 3, 8, 5? 2, 3, ah, oh, hindi, 2, 3, 5, 8 yata. Yung basta, makakalit yung number kasi. Yung ano siya, Korean store, parang mga Daiso Daiso, ganyan. Pero Korean brand. So, pero hindi yung 88 pesos lahat ha. May nag-range yung, yung prices nila as low as 22 pesos to almost nasa 200 plus pesos depende sa klase ng product of course na naka-display sa store nila. Anyway, that's it. The ones that I got is for like 88 pesos lang. Pero that's also, that's already two eyebrow gels na. Ang yata, ang mga mix nun, ginawa kong eyebrow, sarili kong eyebrow pomade. I'm not really sure if you can call it an eyebrow pomade kasi nga hindi nga pomade. But anyway, it will be a comparison of the Jan Lauren na dip and glide eyebrow pomade compared to my DIY eyebrow pomade whatever you want to call this but I call this eyebrow pomade even if it's not made out of a hair pomade yeah. okay so I'm gonna show you and also a little bit of um, quick review lang ng Dream Velvet na Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation hindi na rin siya first impression because I've already used this once again, I'm just gonna um, give you guys a quick review on how this worked for me. Okay? Alright. So, first, let's move on with the Jan Lauren Dip and Glide. So, this is what it looks like. Oo, uka na siya. Kasi nagamit ko na nga siya. As you can see, ma-oily siya. Diba? Ayan. So, yung naisip ko na kung na, baka pwede naman siyang mawala. Pero ma-oily talaga siya, guys. Promise. Ma, ma oily yung for some reason ma oily ang consistency niya. a lot of people are raving about it not really raving about it but I've heard or I've read good reviews about the book so I got really excited to order one for myself and try it for myself kasi hello eyebrow addict ko eh siyempre itong mga eyebrows eyebrows kailangan updated ko para maganda lagi at pak ganun ang kilay mo ayun so ayan ganyan siya 
it was sobrang taas ng expectation for this one because I've seen them use it. Well, I've seen uh, a, a video of a person using this. I'm not really sure if it's the maker or it could be someone else using the product. Pero it looks good eh. It looks good on her. Very light nga lang siya. Um, it's just that I'm, I'm not really expecting that it's gonna cover my sparse brows. Sobrang sparse kasi ng brows ko na if you've seen it sa other videos ko. Pag wala kong makeup, nakakaloko siya. Pero ayun, this also has this weird oily smell. Alam mo yun, parang ang oily talaga niya, promise. Anak, amoy mo, dali. Ew, see, it, it's oily. It smells really like oil talaga. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Ayun. So I'm just gonna share with you guys my experience when I use this one. So, but I'm gonna show you a swatch of this. So I'm gonna use my trusty eyebrow tagto, eyebrow brush from Mary Nod with a spooly thing. Ang ha ang tas talaga na expectation ko dito from this. I was doing a lot of things para lang magwork siya. I just I really tried everything to make this one work, but. I don't know. It just so ayan. Oh, sorry, na may mga swatch ako na ito. It's from my other video for you guys. It looks pigmented, de ba? Sobrang ang parang wow, pigmented. Pero hindi ko girl. Ganyan lang yan. Pero ayon siya. Nakikita niya ba? Kaya ko. Sana nakikita niyo. <laughs> Simply pa flat na ganyan. Oh. Ma pigmented naman siya. Pero parang hindi siya na. I don't know, guys. Ang oily nga for my eyebrows. I mean, I have oily skin. And it's just... Ayan siya. Kapag... Pag flat na ganyan, ang ganda niya, diba? Pero pag ginanyan-ganyan mo siya, ayan, no? Iba yung... Iba yung latag niya para sa akin. It's not... And then, if you try to, like, blend it, gusto mong buuin yung... Ayan na, tignan niya pag pinadaanan, nagbubura siya. ba? Instead na magstay siya, and mabuild mo yung color, if you want to build it, nagbubura mo siya. Naglalighten siya talo. The only thing good about this is that you can top it off with an eyebrow powder. ba? Parang ito yung magiging base mo, and then make sure lang na evenly yung pagkakalagay mo, then top it off with an eyebrow powder. Kaso, come on. ba? I don't know. I, I, I was just expecting more pigment to it. And sabi ko nung una, hindi, baka mali lang ako ng pag, magpagamit. Kasi I'm not used to um, using an eyebrow pomade. Eh. Kasi sabi ko, ay, baka ako lang to. Baka hindi ako marunong gumamit. Ang oily niya, grabe. Parang yung nagprito ka, yung ganun, yung pinang pinag... Kasi yung oil na pamprito, ganun siya. Siguro naman authentic to. <laughs> I doubt naman na may namimake ng ganito, diba? Ayun. So, pero, ay, ay, it's super oily niya. Hindi siya makapag-fill in ng brows ko the way my brows are filled in right now. It's just not, it didn't work for me. It might work for others. So, you guys can try it if you want because it might work for you, but for me, it, it just, it just didn't work for me. Okay, we'll do a side-by-side. So this is what I did. Ayan siya. Hindi niya nang itsura niya. Compared to this. Nakikita niyo, ayan o. Oh, may mga oil-oil pa siya sa gilid-gilid. Parang umaangat yung oil sa kanya. Patagalan. So this is what I made. Swak yan sa kulay ng ano. I mean, hindi naman siya swak sa kulay ng buko. Pero ito yung bet kong kulay. Parang brunette-brunette. Ayan. So let's do a side-by-side watch of this one. So, let's use the Jean Laurent. Ayan siya, oh. Mm. Nadidisper siya. Imbis na mabuo siya. For some reason. It looks really promising. And I really, I really want it to work for me. But, unfortunately, it didn't. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Anyway, this is not sponsored naman. Sponsored, no? Tagay. 
binili ko to ng sarili kong pera so I can be really brutally honest with the product if I want. Anyway, like I said, it might work for you guys, but it didn't work for me. Iba-iba naman tayo. So, ayun. So, kung maganda naman yung mga kilay, yung makapapalo, kasi kasi sparse, eh, baka gano'n. Pero kasi nauwilihan talaga ako sa kanya. Nagsislide off siya sa skin ko. Kahit may nagka-powder na, I mean, kahit may mga powder na nakaset na sa mukha ko, in all that stuff, nagsislide off siya. So, with my very own eyebrow pomade, on this side, Kita niya? Hello. May ganun din siyang feels na parang may bubuo. But, kita niyo ba? Mas pigmented siya. And, the good thing about this is natitain niya yung brows ng bongga. And, ayun. Nakikita niya. I hope you can see how pigmented the other one is. This is the one that I made. And this is the John Lauren one. So, for me lang, guys, um, since mommy ako and I always wanted na makakatipid ako or something na makakatipid ako, gagawa na lang ako. Ang sarili ko. I don't think mauubos ko tong eyebrow thing ko na to. No? Kasi ito may pa ako ginagamit. But there are times that I use that as well. Um, as you can see, the pigment is different. Very sheer. Itong isa. And ito, yung pigment nung gawa ko. Buo siya. Guys, diba? So, yun lang. If you want to know how I actually did it, sa Instagram page ko, which is Caffeine and Blush, um, I posted something with the whole ingredients. Hindi nga lang yung parang supat ha guys. Kung ano lang yung mga, yung mga ginamit kong ingredients. You can you, you, you can play with the ingredients if you want. Of course, depende na rin sa inyo. Promise, DIYs are re very, very helpful. Lalo na kung tipid-tipid mood kayo. Better minsan na nag-DIY kayo. Just really follow some of the instructions. Work your way. Um, Kaya nga na yun. Ano mga Pilipino? Magagaling yan magaling tayong dumistap. Okay. So, tignan nyo naman. Oh. <laughs> Pagbora. Yung, it's there. Yun pa. Yun pa nakakaloka. Siyempre yung tail mo, diba? Dodrawing kang ganyan. Yung tail mo, ganun. Ay, te. Pag gaman yung kabura, doon na. Wala na. Wala na. Wala na buntot. Ganyan na lang kalahati. Ha? Kaloka. Ayoko. Ay, I'm sorry. I really wanted it. I even want to resell something like this, Anna, because it, it, I, I thought it would be really good. But then again, I said, I wanted to try it for myself and really see how this one works. And sorry, guys. I have high hopes for you, pero nag ka sa akin. But then again, it might work for others. It's just me. It's just me. Okay, let's move on. Quick lang, quick, quick, quick. Um, the Maybelline Green Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. So this is um, what it looks like. It has 30 ml or 1 fluid ounces. Same as the Dream Satin Skin which is also 30 ml din siya oh, ng product. Same, magkaiba lang sila ng dutingin. Mukha lang siyang maliit kasi na parang nasa true bottle siya. And this one looks of course a lot more kasi nga iba yung yung container niya but well it says here that they are both 30 ml so i got the shade natural beige which is a little bit darker para siyang natural kung mga five shades yata yung meron nito hindi ko lang kasi na list down kung ano ano yung mga shades na yun but what i got is the natural beige kasi siya yung na swatch ko sa skin ko na talagang hindi naman totally talagang match sa skin tone ko but you know, works pretty well on my skin tone. Other than the, um, ibang shades. Yung isa, yung iba kasi medyo pink yung undertone niya. And syempre, I'm always looking for the ones that will be yellow undertone. And this is what I have. Okay. So, noong una, naparami ako ng lagay. I, this is like medium, light to medium coverage din yan. Or medium, yeah, parang mga nasa ganun. Pero buildable siya. 
Pero not to build, not, not really buildable to full coverage. So this is what it looks like. Ayan siya. Hindi siya runny. As you can see. Iba yung texture niya. Diba? Para siyang, this one reminds me of the Dream Mousse Foundation. Yung before nila. Na I think face out na. Ayun. Iba ang ganda. Promise. Ang ganda nito. So, ayan siya. If it's a little bit blended on the skin. So that's what it looks like. I hope you can see the color pay off. Sorry na, cellphone lang po ang gamit ko. Pero, the feel is like super velvety mousse. Yung, yung feeling niya, yung consistency niya. That's what it feels. Um, they say that this is parang nagtutor yung powder. Probably if you blend it even more I'm trying to blend it like really really well on my skin. From me, sobrang a little goes a long way with this one. Nung una nga sabi ko nang hinayang ako na parami yung lagay ko. Pero ang, ang ganda ng coverage nito promise. So nagaano siya, nagpa powder finish daw siya. However, wala akong tiwala sa skin ko. <laughs> wala talaga akong tiwala sa skin ko dahil kahit anong gawin ko, oily talaga ako. Ganun talaga ang buhay. Uh, kahit na sabihin mat. Well, but the good thing about this, it will help me mattify my face a little bit longer than the usual, of course. Siyempre, ayun. So, I tried this one without using any mattifying products or, or any, not even setting it with a mattifying powder. Sobrang plain powder lang yung ginamit ko. Walang, walang mattifying primer kaya merot ganyan. Talagang, Ito, ito lang, tapos moisturizer lang, tapos ito na. Ganun lang yung ginawa ko. Promise. Ayan siya. Kapag naka-blend na siya, yung feeling niya, velvety talaga, velvety smooth, ganun. Hindi siya, walang tacky feeling, walang sticky feeling, or anything. It's just so, so smooth, and it's, wala naman siyang amoy, actually. Um, it's just so good on the skin. How, may, may, may parang siyang sheen naman sheen, pero may konting glowy siya na konti. Pero hindi glow na glow, pack glow din. Parang, what do you call this? Youthful glow, na hindi naman bonggang-bonggang youthful glow. Basta, iba yung, iba yung feeling niya. And yung look niya, when when you put it on. Para sa akin, like I said, um, this product may not work the same way it worked for me, pero para sa akin, it worked pretty good. It doesn't mean na dahil oily skin ako and oily skin kahit it works the same way because there could be ingredients here na hindi alam mo yun hindi magiging kayang yung skin mo you could break out or or anything diba magkaroon ka ng mga little bumps or it, it really won't mattify your face or, or anything like that so this is based on my personal experience lang so I started wearing it if I'm not mistaken as early as as early as 10 o'clock in the morning Siguro mga after 5 hours, medyo nag oily na yung skin ko. Pero hindi yung bonggang-bonggang oil talaga. Yung usual na bonggang-bonggang oil na nangyayari sa skin ko. Medyo dewy yung skin ko. Tolerable yung, yung oil niya. Um, hindi na ako nag -blot. Kasi parang feeling ko, kaya lang siya. Ayun. So after another few 5 hours, so parang mga... I, I wore this for a total of 10 hours. And honestly, it, it looks really, really good. Nung nag -blot ako, May oil, pero maraming oil. Siyempre, 10 hours din yun, ba? Pero, I mean, come on, after na-blood ko siyang ganun, wala na. Balik siya sa dati. Andun pa rin yung coverage niya. Everything looks good as if nothing, nothing changed. I mean, so after I blot my face, oo, may transfer siya. Pero super konting-konti lang dun sa pinakang blotting paper. Ha? Hindi siya yung tulad ng iba na pag ganun mo, ay parang, ay, mura. So, ang daming daming foundation and everything dun sa pinakang um, blotting paper. This one, sobrang minimal lang yung, yung transfer niya. And after you blot your oils away, it looks just the same as when you applied it the first time. Promise. Ganun yung, ganun yung feeling niya or ganun yung look niya sa akin. But, like I said, again, and over and over, I will say this over and over, that it may not work the same way for you guys, the way it worked for me. So, decision niyo yun. If you know, you wanna try it out, give it a, you know, give it a shot. Wala kasi mga sampler-sampler na ganito. Maganda sana kung may mga sampler-sampler, no? Para, you, you could 
test it out first before actually buying the full price, the full size, di ba? Ganda sana kung may ganun. Kasi hindi naman uso sa atin yung mga ganun ganun, yung mga may sampler sampler. So talaga mapapabili ka ng buo if you really wanna try the product out. Same with the Dream Satin Skin, sobrang impressed ako sa performance ng product na to. Like the, the Dream Velvet, parehong pareho sila. Of course, although this one would mattify my face longer kesa sa Dream Satin, pero very comparable sila actually. Pareho silang magandang performance sa skin ko. Although this one, of course, medyo kailangan natin ng konting help with mattifying products and all that stuff, mattifying powder. This one, siguro mas matagal pa yung mattifying effect nito if I would actually use a mattifying primer and a mattifying powder pala. Ano? Bit na bit. Ganda siguro na to. I'll try that one. I haven't really tried it. Kasi gusto kong makita kung anong magiging ganap nito sa akin kung walang mga extra help from other mattifying products. But so far, love it. I love it. Promise. But, sa akin pa lang yun. That's my opinion. Again. Okay guys? Okay. So, that's it. I hope you guys, again, like I always say, enjoyed the video. And please give it a thumbs up if you really did enjoy the video and you liked it. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. If you're new, you can also check out my other videos. Medyo konti pa nga lang yung mga videos ko. Hindi pa ako ganun kabongga sa YouTube. And pagpasensyahan nyo na ang quality ng video ko. Dahil cellphone lang ko. Hindi lang. That's it. Power effect pa. Anyway, that's it guys. Thank you guys again for watching and hope to see you on my next video. Bye!